Hey what's up guys, it's Rob. Hope you're doing good. So a company called Sonic Cake have got in touch with me and they've kindly sent me some guitar pedals. So I think there's three pedals in here so I'm gonna open this up on camera and show you what's inside and I can't wait to have a look so let's get it open. Yeah, here we are, we have three different pedals for me to test out. Judging by the outside packaging, you wouldn't be able to tell what they are. So let's open them up and take a closer look at what's actually inside each one of them. Pretty small, as you can see, Sonic Cake. So this one is a Volwa pedal, Volwa, which basically means it's a volume and a wah pedal in one kind of expression pedal. So that's what that one is. So I'm really looking forward to testing that because currently I don't have a wah pedal. I used to have a Morley Steve Vai wah pedal, but I sold it because I never really um, had a use for it. Whereas now I, I definitely do something that I've wanted to get for my for my live gigging. This one's a lot smaller, a lot more compact, and it will definitely fit on any sort of pedal board a lot easier. So let's look a look at this one next. And next we have a Sonic Bar. So this is what's called the Twiggy Blues, and I'll get some close-ups of this in a little while, but Twiggy Blues pedal. This is really what I'm excited about, this one and the other one, which is kind of, this is gonna be something similar, which I'll talk about in a second. Obviously, as I've mentioned, this is the Twiggy Blues, so that's gonna be uh, more of a blues sort of sound, hopefully more a cleany, maybe sort of slightly crunchy tone, so we'll, uh, we'll have a see about that one. This one should be kind of like the Twiggy Blues, as, a, as you can see, it's another Sonic bar, but this one is the Rock Stage. So this one, again, these these two I'm really excited about testing out. I got the Twiggy Blues and the Rock Stage one here. And the difference between them is that obviously the Twiggy Blues is gonna be more of a clean, sort of bluesy, maybe slightly driven bluesy tone. That's what I'm hoping. Um, but I guess we'll find out. With they've, they've got built-in effects as well. And then this one is more of a rock one. Maybe rock, maybe even metal. We'll see what we can get out of it, but this one, would be more overdrive and more, more distortion. So I'm really looking forward to testing that out. So what I'm gonna do, I'll open them now, but I'm not gonna test them out in this video. There's gonna be videos next week of each one separately. So uh, stick around for those videos, but let's get these open and have a look at what's inside each box. I'll start with this one as I've already got it in my hands. So there you can see the actual pedal itself, even though the box is, is, is quite a wide box, the actual pedal itself isn't, isn't that size. This is actually very small, but it's actually got a fair bit of um, more weight than I was expecting. But, you know, it's not heavy. It's just got more weight than I was expecting. So yeah, here's the Sonic Cake Rock Stage. For inputs and outputs, we've got jacks. There's no other XLR or anything like that. One thing I'm really happy about is that I do get a power supply with it as well. So that's really handy. So yeah, normal power supply, probably I'm gonna assume it's a nine volter. I will go into more depth when I do a video about this separately, but one thing I'm really excited about is the fact that it's got a cabinet simulator, this little switch here. Because what I wanna do is I wanna run this live through the PA. As I said, I'm not gonna use an amp. You can put this in front of an amp as well. These sorts of things, they can be separate pedal, pedals that go in front of an amp, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be putting mine direct into the PA. So that's why this is really useful because it's got a cabinet simulation. So it's the amp and a cab in one pedal. So that's really cool. That's the rock stage version. So let's take a look at the next one. Another power supply, great stuff. And again, here's the pedal. Pretty similar setup in terms of outputs and inputs jacks with a power supply thing there, no XLR or anything like that. Similar weight. And in this one, we've got a, a compressor, the Blues Amp. I'm looking forward to hearing how this one sounds. We've got a slap back, which I obviously some sort of delay. An air, I imagine that's um, a presence or a reverb sort of thing. There's actually a little card which tells you about it here. So yeah, the air is controls the reverb amount. It basically tells you on this what everything does. So I'll be checking that out. So yeah, there's the Twiggy Blues. And just for a little comparison, they're obviously the same size and the same setup, which is pretty cool. They look cool as well. They don't just, um... so before I've even got into any sort of sound tests, they, they, they passed the looks test, which is great. So this one, as I said, is the Volwar the little expression pedal. Little, definitely, let's look up. I mean, that's, it fits in my hand like that. It's pretty small. Let's see what else we got in the box first. So again, this is just another little card which tells you about it, how to how to work it, etc. Yeah, there we go. Sonic Cake Volwar. There's the logo, Volwar on the top. 
Um, oh, there's a little packet of that gel stuff stuck inside. Actually quite stiff actually, but it, that's the good thing. It's not too loose. It's not really flappy. Um, I imagine over time, like anything, there might be a bit of give, but we'll we'll find out. Um, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking how stiff that is. Obviously there's a little um, Allen key screw on the side as well. So I guess you can, if it is too loose, you can tighten it, etc. So you, maybe you've got a preference. Maybe that's why you can adjust that there. If you've got a preference to whether you want it really um, loose or not. But I imagine just the normal turning of this like that is for the volume. And there's a, obviously a button, as you can see here, which I imagine that's when that's pressed, that's going to then kick in the wah. And then you're going to press it down again to change between the volume and the wah. So, and again, I'm looking forward to testing that one out especially. So yeah, here's what we've got all in all. Three pedals here, the Twiggy Blues, the Rock Stage, and the Vol Wah pedal. So... That's what I've got there. So I'm really looking forward to testing these out. I can't wait to give them a go. And I'm really looking forward to the prospects of being able to use these not only for recording and stuff like that, but use them live as well. Because as I keep mentioning, this is what I want to I wanna have more of. One thing I'm hoping is that I can have both of these set up at the same time. And when I want a clean tone or clean air tone, I imagine this is the Twiggy Blues is going to provide that. And then obviously when I want more gain, I've got the gain here in this one. And between them both, I've got nice mixes of delays and reverbs and uh, even chorus on this one and a compressor on this one. So there's quite a lot to be going through there. So I imagine that's going to be a pretty cool live setup, hopefully if, the, um, if they work out all right. And obviously on the side of that, I've got the, the volume and the wire as well. So plenty of expressions to come. So that's it. That's me all done with the unboxing. So I just thought I'd share this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me unbox those. And if you want to hear how they sound, then stick around on my channel because I'm going to be putting out videos next week of each of them. So look forward to those. I can't wait to test them. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.